What's up everybody, it's your boy R2, and I'm back, bringing you some Suicide Squad news. And as you remember, Batman is rumored to appear in Suicide Squad, either in footage, and I will go back to that later, the footage part. This was brought to us by Latino Review and Umberto Gonzalez. He's been on a rampage with them scoops, man. Shout out to him. He probably won't see this video, but shout outs to Umberto Gonzalez at El Mayimbe. According to his sources, in the film, Batman is some sort of big boogeyman that the government really hates. And that's interesting because we're gonna get a mysterious Batman. A Batman that only the Joker has seen or knows. Maybe he knows him, maybe he's seen him, maybe he's the only one that he's come face to face with. Which is pretty cool and will make for some pretty cool dynamics. And why the Joker is the only one to ever really meet him or know him is important is because Amanda Waller is after him. They have footage of Batman in action, which they watch. There is some dialogue spoken by Amanda Waller suggesting Batman is the key to tracking down all the supers. As you well know, Batman has a plan for everyone. He knows everyone's weakness. He knows, he probably knows Superman. He probably knows Wonder Woman. He's probably tracked down the Flash and Aquaman. And he very, I don't know if you'll know Cyborg, but I'm pretty sure he'll know Cyborg pretty soon. And I think this is all pretty cool stuff, you know, we're gonna get a mysterious Batman, a Batman that the government hates, very much Dark Knight Returns with the president going to Superman asking him to take out Batman, and Superman kind of going to Batman saying, hey man, you need to lay low a little while before, you know, you get into a really big mess that you can't really come out of, not even Batman can come out of. I'm really excited, Suicide Squad is one of those movies that I'm really anticipating because of all the star power in there. You got Jared Leto, you got Margot Robbie, you got Will Smith. You have possible appearances from Lex Luthor played by Jesse Eisenberg and you might get a little Batman and of course the first time we'll see Joker. Well guys, let me know what you think down below. What are your thoughts on these comments? I would really like to know them. Sorry I've been gone a little bit but you know, stuff happens. But put your thoughts down below and it's your boy R2 reminding you to stay nerdy my friends.